Linda says we have several exchange online plans, one or two shared mailboxes in our environment that was previously set up. Some uh, is, is just to store old mails and documents in those mails related to regulations for storing accounting related data. Nobody logs on and gets any data from them anymore. Seems a wasted cost to keep these as licensed mailboxes. Is there another method in Microsoft to convert these to storage or archive in some other way? I use OneNote to archive all my emails. If you're in the desktop version, you can select everyone in there and send it to OneNote. And it creates a new page for every um, email, and then they're searchable. Uh, the content is searchable. If there's any attachments, they're searchable. Everything goes to OneNote, and then it's kind of like that little bookshelf that you put, you know, the notebook you put on the bookshelf. You can go open it if you need to. It stays closed, and it, it's stored in Office 365, so it it keeps everything. Um, searchable and available if you need it going forward. But the the only issue is when you create those emails in mass like that, when you post them into OneNote, it posts the date that is the date you created the page, not the date the email was created. So yeah, but that's in the body. I mean that information is in mm -hmm. in the email itself and that becomes yep. searchable. But you're right, that's an, an annoying thing. And but OneNote, um there's a uh, add-in for OneNote desktop called OneTastic. I love the one tastic shameless plug. I get no money for telling you this, but one of the macros in there will replace the email date for the date that the page was created. Mm. And it goes through and it just that's runs cool. a little script. Yeah, very cool. That's that's my thing. Get them out of the email box because it doesn't search the attachments anyway. And that sometimes is really important if, if what you're looking for is actually in the attachment and not in the direct message of the email. But that's that's yeah. my method. I don't know. Yeah, I I second that. That's exactly what I tell people if they want to archive um, emails for messaging purposes. I say send them all to OneNote. Um, but you can also save them all as MSG files. Um, so you could save them all all as MSG files um, out to share like um, a segregated SharePoint site that's marked as archive only. Which then those MSG files could be rolled to tiered storage eventually if they were just marked as records. So if truly nobody is ever touching them and you need them in cold storage, for example, um, you could either put them as MSG files and then roll them to cold storage eventually, or you could still put them in OneNote and then eventually put those one night OneNote binder files. Same thing, those could also roll to tiered storage yeah. as well. The nice thing, I agree with you, Sherry, the nice thing about doing a OneNote, with an MSG file, you got to crack that baby open and sometimes you got to rework it to make it work. Whereas with OneNote, truly opens in the Super exact easy. same right. thing. Yep. Mm -hmm. Well, that was the question is like, how, how often do you access that? Who's going to be searching? If you want it user-friendly and easy, then the OneNote. You can, again, you can make it secure. You can have those one notes stored in a place where it's a SharePoint site, which is limited access to those things, but then it's easily accessible to go and search and find that data.